Well, I should have probably transitioned into this differently, but you're the king of transitions. I am not. We talked about football and the Super Bowl is coming up. Have you been keeping an eye on who's starting on Super Bowl commercials? No, I mean, Fightful has a great new commercial, though. I saw it. I popped for it. <laughs> uh, big thanks to, to our, our producer, Rob, but also I did some great directing on that one. I was pretty proud of it. We're going to do more, hopefully. Good job. Look at you. You're becoming an executive producer, just like Bad hey. Bunny for a new Netflix series, but we're not going to talk about that yet. Hey, will you pay to have that ran during the, the Super Bowl for us? No. Why? Because I want to see the commercials I'm about to talk to you about. Okay, whatever. Sure. I'm going to tell you a celebrity name, and I want to see if you can guess which brand they're associated with as far as commercial goes. You ready? Yeah. Ben Affleck. He's doing a Super Bowl commercial. Can you guess for who? Affleck. Nope. <laughs> oh, my God. That would make so much sense. <laughs> that would be great. It is, it is not Affleck. Uh, mayonnaise, then, because he's white as hell. <laughs> nope. Come on, third strike and you're out. Like the third reds. strike. Um, yep. Whoever produces the steroids for the New York Yankees. He's a big Red Sox fan, so I, he will be offended by your response right well, now. No, he, he would probably like, <laughs> he'd probably do a PSA about the Yankees doing steroids. So, no, he is doing a commercial for Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, I guess. I Affleck know, would, lame, lame. Yeah, Affleck would make a lot more sense, honestly. How would you book a commercial with Ben Affleck and Affleck? I mean, you would probably just have the, the duck saying Affleck over and over again and him looking very confused. I don't know. You're putting me on the spot. I can't be creative like that. Just just like quick on the draw. <laughs> well, the actor was seen in Boston dressed up as a Dunkin' Donuts employee and he was taking orders in the drive-thru. Guess who came through the drive-thru? Who? Jennifer Lopez. Who else, Sean? You don't know anything about Jennifer Lopez, though. Like, I, I heard that you hated her. I work for her. Um, I know you that's did. A, but... That's a story for a different podcast. I work for her, and, you know, I might have signed an NDA. So, anyways, Jennifer Lopez came through the drive through of Dunkin' Donuts uh, and, and took an order from Ben Affleck. I'm kind of excited for this commercial. I am not like most females. I actually watch the Super Bowl for the football and not the halftime show and commercials. But I, I would be lying if I tell you I don't pay attention to the commercials. They're fun. They're very good. I, 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 I'm always interested in them. I'm interested in the game itself, too. Obviously, more so these days because – Last year, the Bengals were in it, and this year, mm -hmm. the Bengals are good. So definitely over the last 10, 12 years, I've been more interested in the Super Bowl than I was before then. But it doesn't hurt to have good commercials. I'm always shocked at how many of those commercials air and then never get used again. Like, they just disappear. Right? Like, right? after they spent all that money on them. And you will think this, these companies will be, like, airing them all over the place. They, they, they need to make them generic enough to where you can keep airing them and not just Super Bowl theme. Yeah. However, I will say before I talk about our next Super Bowl commercial stars, I do think that they have gone down in quality. Sure. Back in the day, the too. commercials were better. I remember Brad Pitt running around looking for Heineken beer. Like that. Those were the years. And Budweiser with the commercial with the horses that always make me cry because I hate horses, not because they're cute. Yeah. Um... I, I remember like back in the day, like like 20 years ago, they seemed like at its peak. But I mean, also, I was a kid who watched WWF and seeing a WWF commercial, a really great one, was very cool. I remember one time somebody died doing a Tostitos commercial. You Wait, what? That? Yeah, a guy died doing a Tostitos commercial. That's legit. And you're laughing about it. You're I'm laughing. sorry. I have, <laughs> I have a horrible timing for laughing at things. Wow. <laughs> Man. Uh, listen, it was a bungee what happened? jumping death. Oh, that's that's exciting. If I die, that's how we want to go down. Damn, really? I think that'd be very Yeah. Very Why would horrible. you want to die in a boring way? Ugh. Listen, this is this is turning dark. So let's talk about our next superstars for a Super Bowl commercial and see if you can match match them to the You cut out, so I can't hear you.
man. So I'm just gonna carry this while Issa is is frozen. Look at her. Look, she she oh there she is. She's back. I'm having a lot of internet issues today. I apologize. I can see that. <laughs> Daytime I, I like Puerto Rico think... internet is horrible. Your dog is just gnawing through the cords. No, I think every time he barks, he triggers something that just makes it shut off. <laughs> okay. So ahead. next round. Cardi B and Offset. Give me who do you think they're doing a commercial for? Kia. Nope. Is it a car? Nope. Lay's potato three shots. chips. No, it's not Lay's. Besides, Doritos always does the better commercial. That's also true. Remember Allie Landry? The yeah. Doritos girl? <laughs> yeah. She was big as well. Um, hmm. Michelob Ultra. You have stroke it out yet? Again, it is McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving okay. it. Were you expecting that one? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Neither but was I. I mean, if you're talking about somebody who has probably the biggest advertising budget out there, like everybody eats McDonald's at some point, um, even if like sometimes it's just all that's available. So I'm not surprised by that. <laughs> I, I like the idea. I find it a little bit controversial because this is not Cardi B's first time doing a Super Bowl commercial. But the first time she did one was for Pepsi. And we all know that McDonald's and yeah. Pepsi are not together here. But listen, she's going to go where the money goes. So I'm super excited for the Super Bowl commercials. Also, Rihanna posted a little bit of a teaser for her halftime show. Are you excited to see Rihanna in the halftime of the Super Bowl this year? Yeah, I think she'll be really good. I think she'll be fantastic. She's a great performer. She's always been a great performer. Has good music. Wish it was Doja Cat, but you know what? I'll settle for, for Rihanna. <laughs> if you want to see all our videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, click the subscribe button below. Otherwise, we'll start posting spoilers about your favorite new movies.